Hi everyone, J. Edward Neal here, and today I wanted to talk about two things. First, I have a list of the top five challenges of being an artist in the modern world, and then I wanted to talk about this giant painting right here. We'll get to that shortly. So, top five challenges of being a modern artist. Let's talk about the elephant in the room first. You probably could guess this one, but it's social media. You've got all these different social media channels out there, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok even, and each one has a different way that an artist has to negotiate with the algorithms, that's how I like to think of it, with these different channels. TikTok likes videos, obviously. Instagram likes quality photographs. Facebook likes conversations. It's really all about engaging with your audience and showing them what you have and what you can do. And that's hard. It takes a lot of time and you've got to communicate. Social media, definitely one of the top challenges in the modern art world. Challenge two, commissions. That is custom work for hire, where you as the artist are being asked to paint what somebody else wants you to paint. Not necessarily what you want to paint, but you agree in a contract with that person and, and you paint using your style what they want you to paint. This is a tough area for a lot of artists and one of the reasons I personally don't do commissions but most artists do um, you you're communicating with your buyer with your collector one-on-one -on -one and negotiating sort of a miniature contract through each piece of art here and of course art being a sacred but also subjective thing it's full of pitfalls commissions are hard and I respect those artists who do do them bonus points to you guys uh, number three, kind of going along with commissions. Pricing your work. If you asked 100 artists, uh, how do you price your work? You would probably get 99 different answers. Some go strictly hourly rate. Some go materials plus a set amount. Everybody's got a different formula. None of them are necessarily wrong, but it's the big question in the art world, especially for new artists entering the field. How much do I price my work? It's challenging because you've got to put food on your table, but you also want to supply your art to the widest range of people possible. So price in your work, number three. Number four, this is a big one for me as a dad and a family guy, is finding time to actually create. Now, we talked about social media, and one of the big challenges with social media is that it eats up a lot of time. You're, you're responding to customers, you're posting, you're curating a message. And that takes up a lot of time during which you're not putting paint on canvas or you're not sculpting, or you're not putting pen to paper. What, whatever art style you do, you know, the key thing is to every day and hopefully to have time to actually do it. And if you're a parent, if you're married, if you got pets, if you got other responsibilities, maybe if you even got another job, it is tough to find time to create. Uh, and you almost gotta have a schedule to do it. That's challenge four, and a big one for a lot of people. And number five, and uh, this is a big one, and you know, if you go out there on social media, you'll see artists talking about this next one a lot, which is keeping that creative spark alive. Okay, especially when you do it for a living, when you're making art every day, there can be a tendency to, to get burned out or to run out of ideas. You know, I'm, I'm lucky myself in that I haven't run out of ideas yet, but I'm very cognizant that this is a, a thing that could happen and does happen to a lot of artists, you know. After you create so many pieces of art, hundreds, maybe thousands, maybe tens of thousands for some artists, you know, that's creative energy going out of you and you have to refill the tank so to speak, you can refuel you to help keep that creative spark alive. Uh, personally, for me, I use music to help me. I uh, always listen to different soundtracks and everything, but every artist probably has a, a different method of doing it. Uh, it's really all about self-care and uh, treating yourself right first, and then that spark will often come as a result of that. So those are my top five challenges for artists in the modern world. Now, let's talk about a big painting. A big painting. Uh, it's probably hard to see on the camera because if I brought it up, it would eat up the whole camera and block me out. But this is uh, the death of Yggdrasil, uh, the Norse tree of life. 
And, uh, you know, I had this idea after reading a Neil Gaiman book. Um, it was all about Vikings, Norse mythology and whatnot. So, of course, being me, <laughs> I had to make it dark. You know, let me tilt the camera a little bit so maybe you could see a little bit the roots of the world tree. But this is actually the second biggest painting I've ever done. It's uh, four feet long, three feet tall, second biggest painting I've ever done. I did do it. A five by four foot painting once a long long time ago but this is the death of Yggdrasil and it's one of my personal favorites and it eats up a monstrous wall in my son's bedroom I don't know if he appreciates that or not but he's gonna have to deal with it until it settles anyway I'm Jay Edward Neal this is death of Yggdrasil and I'll be doing more videos more often hopefully and you guys are awesome and look me up uh, Etsy Shadow Art Finds, hundreds of original paintings, hundreds of prints and digital downloads. I'll see you guys next time.